I am Bob McQueen. I'm the horticulture manager at Sir Hillier Sunningdale branch. And I'm here today to answer questions about trees and screen. These Euronymous Red Cascade are an ideal tree for a small garden. Lovely leaves, lovely vibrant red autumn leaf colour, and unusual winged fruitlets at this time of year look, look amazing. Try and choose something which has two seasons of interest, the spring flowers or autumn colour, to give you um, something to look at all, around, all year round in the garden. Something you might want to try and block out of view, or an ugly building behind, or something you don't want to see, which just to give you some privacy in your own garden, without having a tree that's going to overwhelm you. How big the tree is going to grow? The overall size of the tree is very important. If you don't want to, to overhang your neighbour's property eventually, it may, may cause neighbourhood issues or neighbour issues. Also, if, if the branches overhang the pavement, that could be, be a, a danger to the public. So you need to go for something that can be fairly narrow and upright. Something like um, Pyro Chanticleer is ideal for this. White spring flowers and good autumn leaf colour. It grows in a nice pear shape, so the branches won't overhang and be too warm. When people are planting trees for screening, they automatically think about evergreen. And to be honest, in the retail market, there are very limited evergreens available. You need to start thinking about how big a tree is going to grow. And when it starts to grow, and these amelanchias, for instance, start to fill in, their head will develop and the close-knit branches will, will, will begin to, uh, to form their own branching system to make a nice screening for your garden. This tree has fantastic pale pink flowers in the spring. And as you can see from these now, the autumn colour is really quite stunning. This is Amelanchia Robin Hill. Just here we have Protagus prunifolia and again this is a lovely round-headed tree with white spring flowers, a really good autumn leaf colour and, and the red berries. Again the branching habit of the tree is really quite nice and rounded and will provide a good look of this green in a small garden. When planting a tree at this time of year, it's always a good idea to, to consider bark interest. The, tr the leaves have now fallen and, and now you've got these lovely bark colours exposed. This one is Betula albicinensis red panda. This time of year, Betula jamontii, grown as a multi-stem, really starts to look its best. The lovely white bark peels and provide good screening. This time of year, Prunus cerula, or the Tibetan cherry as it's also known, really looks alive and, and it, at its best. The lovely peeling bark is amazing and is ideal for a winter planting project. The, bark, the, the head of the tree is really quite dense in habit in the summertime, so again, it makes an ideal screening tree for a small garden. 